The following is a public access or its staff and management staff or it does not does Welcome back to the channel. We did it! 500 rear wheel horsepower. Yes! We did it guys. The goal of hitting 500 naturally aspirated rear wheel horsepower in our Roadrunner Boss 302 has been done. Mission accomplished. Achievement unlocked. Obviously, there are an infinite amount of parts and combinations for the Coyote platform, both naturally aspirated and boosted but I'm gonna tell you our recipe for the 500 naturally aspirated rear wheel horsepower for our Boss 302. This setup for a naturally aspirated Coyote build is actually quite common. And I know a few people that have done it for the Roadrunner engine and have had great success with it. And we followed that guide and it worked very well for us. So in case you can't find their guides, I'm gonna to present to you a guide so you can kind of use this as an example in case you are looking to build a Boss 302 and you wanna to get to 500 rear wheel horsepower right away, I'll give you the guide of parts that we use. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Here's what it is. The Roadrunner's Guide to 500 Naturally Aspirated Rear Wheel Horsepower. Ford Racing Cobra Jet Cold Air Intake. Ford Racing Cobra Jet Twin Bore Throttle Body. Ford Racing Cobra Jet Intake Manifold. Ford Racing Cobra Jet Intake and Exhaust Camshafts. Ford Racing 47 pound fuel injectors. Cook's headers and free flowing exhaust. Addiction Motorsports E85 Track Key Tune. The Roadrunner's Guide to 500 Naturally Aspirated Rear Wheel Horsepower Supporting Modifications. Fat House Performance Battery and Catch Can Combo. Ford Racing Cobra Jet Billet Oil Pump, MMR Crankshaft Sprocket, MMR Oil Pump Gears, MMR Water Pump Pulley, MMR Timing Components, Reich 170 Degree Thermostat. We do have much more GT350R content coming. I have not meant to ignore this car, but we have the slip low install that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be putting up the jacking points or the jacking rails as well uh, for safety when jacking up the car. And we've got a few other projects coming up. We're gonna keep this car pretty much OEM. We love it as it is. And you know what? We've already torn apart so many other cars. I really feel like we're leaning towards leaving this one alone. What do you guys think? But this one? Oh man, we are going to tear into this. You need to stay tuned to this channel because we are basically going to be doing to this Porsche GT4 what we did to our boss. I don't know to what level or extreme yet, but we've got a lot of surprises because we want to push this GT4 as far as it can. It's kind of in the same situation as our boss 302. We are now the third owner of this vehicle. And when we got it, it had relatively high mileage for a GT4. Most GT4s are, as you know, wiped with a diaper. They're kept in a garage for collectability reasons, but this one had higher mileage. And similar to our boss, 
The two previous owners had already done some modifications to this, so we are gonna kind of correct those modifications and really send this thing and go all out. So stay tuned. If you like naturally aspirated builds and you like NA builds, stay tuned because we are going to do some really fun stuff with this Porsche. What am I stepping on? Oh, we can't leave tools on the ground. So what do you think? I'm liking the idea of an NA build on this GT4. I don't know how many have been done. There might be a few, but I really think with 80 to 100, maybe more real, more rear wheel horsepower. I, I can never say that, I'm so sorry. I really think this car would blow a lot of cars out of the water at courses like Button Willow, Streets of Willow, tight compact courses, because the mid-engine layout and the way this car has its weight distributed is just fantastic and it is so easy to drive. It really feels like it's got four wheel drive or all wheel drive, even though it is a rear wheel drive car. I said it, I did it, I, I did it, yes! Achievement unlocked. Anyway, this car definitely feels like it has all wheel drive. So I can't wait to apply another 80 to 100 rear wheel horsepower into this car. And we're gonna make some modifications with a short throw shifter. We're gonna do some transmission work, driveline work, suspension work, which I'm really looking forward to. Maybe some aerodynamic work, but we're gonna start with the power. That's where everyone starts and I wanna start with the power. I wanna see what this 3.8 is capable of. Basically doing the intake, headers, exhaust, tune, fuel and probably start there and see how much power this car makes, especially since we're gonna be working on the transmission, the short throw shifter, some other aspects that are really gonna button this car down, really gonna make everything flow and work well together. Very excited to start this project. So if you do like engine builds that are naturally aspirated, stay tuned because we are gonna be working on this 981 GT4. We're gonna be going full bolt on, possibly a little bit further. See what we can do. Also, and lastly, check back because believe it or not, the Boss 302 is not done yet. We still have some We still have some suspension components. There are still some suspension components that need to be changed out. We want to go full spherical bearing. We need to change the lower control arms to something a little bit stronger, and we might go to a lightweight K member. There are some other bracing and support issues we're going to tackle in the suspension as well. So stay tuned. We've got Boss 302 content, 981 GT4 content, R content, and of course, we'll find something to do with beauty, as always. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining us on this journey as we take our race cars to racetracks and share our experiences with you. Subscribe to the like button and notify me when you like the subscribe button. Access program. Public act. Public act. Public act is a pub public act. The public act and.